Hello Internet, in today's video we're gonna learn how to style a Shopify hydrogen store using Tailwind. If you're a web developer, you probably know that Tailwind in recent years has gained a lot of popularity and it has become almost a de facto way for front-end developers to style their applications and for good reason because of developer experience and uh, the, 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 the design produced by Tailwind looks highly polished and um, very beautiful. So. Let's come back to our Shopify Hydrogen store that we have been uh, working on in, uh, in in previous videos and I will show you how to spin this up, it's very simple. But this uses Tarwind and you may tell me, oh this is not very beautiful and the reason is the Shopify CLI, uh, the, 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 the demo storefront that comes out of the Shopify CLI has almost all of the business logic that you will need in your storefront and the design is left to each store owner to customize because and no store most stores um, owners want their their store to look unique right so instead of investing in styling um, the, 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 the Shopify team gave a lot of business logic functionalities out of the box okay so that's why they focused on and the design is up to us so the goal of this video is to show you how to achieve beautiful designs like the ones that are here uh, in the Tarwin UI here yeah? okay and by the way Tarwin UI is a paid product by the Tarwin team and I'm not affiliated with them we are not affiliated with them in any way it's just um, a product that we use at Lifted Commerce to style most of our clients projects so <clears throat> you can see here um, like this this is this is a ready-made stuff on page right very very polished beautiful looking professionally designed and you have a lot and, and it must be said that the the, the, the Tarwin UI um, um, uh, design system or design library has a lot of components ready made to be used just copy paste into your application and just change the content and uh, you have a beautiful beautifully designed and accessible um, um, uh, front end uh, for your users so we have it's split into marketing application ui and e-commerce and, and in our case most of the time for our clients we use the marketing and the e-commerce components so if you look at hero section or let's say the call to action section and the pricing section just for the marketing section here you can see that the call to actions are very very beautiful let's see here okay same thing for the pricing section very very beautiful and polished if you look at the e-commerce section now we can go to let's say products uh, categories all right uh, incentive it's one thing that we use a lot as well for our clients so you can see here the incentive section very beautiful and polished all right categories display the categories in your store okay and um, the products the product page itself okay very beautiful once again as you can see it's it's, it's very highly polished okay so without further ado let's see how we can uh turn not obviously not everything but some of the uh the uh, elements in this storefront and, and make them make make this storefront a bit more beautiful okay so let me jump into the terminal all right so i'm gonna start from scratch as we always do uh, at, or at least as we often do the first command let me turn this off close this start a new storefront okay the command obviously is npm create shopify hydrogen latest to get the latest cli the latest um, scaffolding from the cli okay and once we run this command it's going to ask us a few questions first one is do we want to use the mock shop to create the um, to, to as the, the the api or do we have an, an existing store let's choose mock shop but we can always switch back and forth between the two and then what, which name we're going to call it demo 44 okay javascript to typescript obviously typescript for that type safety and do we want to use Tarwin? Obviously, in this case, this video is about Tarwin, so let's choose that. And then, uh, do we want to install the dependencies? Yes. Do you want to create the alias? Yes. Do you want to scaffold the routes? Yes. Do you want which internationalization strategy do we want? We're going to choose subfolders. Yeah. And that's it, really. The product is going to be uh, uh, scaffolded for us. And I'm going to close this because I already did that. 
and this is what we have here okay once you scaffold like that this is this is what you get and once you cd into the scaffolded project all you have to do is npm run dev to trigger the to to, to, to start the application and then once it started you're gonna see this all right and you're gonna see first the home page obviously and then you can visit any collections and uh in, inside the collection you can visit the particular product you can add it to the cart and stuff like that you can do a lot of things uh, and that's basically what Darwin uh, Shopify CLI gives you out of the box so in this video what I want to see what I want to do with you is make this header here a bit more beautiful right and for that we're gonna use Darwin UI they have the store navigation components as you can see here uh, example like if you look at it from the storefront page you can see if you look at this storefront for example you can see the store navigation or let's say the header is very beautiful and polished so we want something similar in our store right instead of just this single thing that you click and then it, it, it moves away we want something a bit more polished and for Darwin to work most of the job is already done for us to, for us by the, the Shopify CLI namely um, the Talwin uh, config.js file, all right, and we also have the Talwin CSS file added in the style, and that's pretty much it as far as setting up the uh, Talwin, uh, setting up Talwin for our Shopify Hydrogen goes. But if you already have a um, uh, Shopify Hydrogen store and you didn't select Talwin, well, you always have to know, you always have to uh, remember that. Um, Shopify Hydrogen is based on, on Remix, right? So you can just go and do Talwin Remix Google, right? And you can see how to do the same thing, right? You just follow these steps here and you'll be able to add Talwin to your Shopify Hydrogen, which is basically Remix, okay? So once that's done, if you look at this here, this component, you will see that Talwin uses a bunch of plugins, right? Talwin has a lot of plugins that it uses. So if I come here and I search the docs, plugins, you see that they have plenty of plugins, okay? And uh, <clears throat> most of these plugins are necessary in order for the Talwin UI components to work. So what I usually do once I have my project set up, I'll just install all the plugins that are required for um, Talwin uh, to work and the first command for that to I run is npm install the typography plugin the forms plugin the line clamp plugin the aspect ratio plugin and the container queries plugin and I install them as dev dependencies okay dev dependency you don't want that in your JavaScript bundle so I install that I already did anyway and once that's done the next thing I want to install is um, hero icons hero icon is um, an, an icon library created by the team at Darwin okay so it's a nice way if you're using Darwin um, it's a great uh, icon library that goes very well with it so I install npm I uh, hero icons you see here I already have that installed just wanted for you to see and once that's done as well I do I have to install npm headless UI headless UI slash react headless UI is basically an unstyled um, highly accessible library component library uh, that goes very well as well and it, this is also built by the teams at Darwin so it goes very well with uh, Darwin and once you have all those things installed right now you can easily let's test if um, let's test if uh, um, we can simply copy paste one of these components and see how it goes in our app so if I go to the e-commerce section here okay and I, I try to create a new page that displays this product okay let's see what happens let me create a new route okay create a route obviously in in, the, in real life you will have to uh, edit the products route here okay to to work with that make making sure that the, the product that was returned by the loader the, the payload that's returned by the loader uh, is um, is um, has everything that you need in order to display this page okay so let's for the sake of argument let's just create a, a, a route that we're gonna call 
uh, local dot tailwind product let's just just call it tailwind okay the tx and i just drop that in there like that and that's it really that's all i need to do and if i visit that route okay let's see what happens tailwind i may need to restart yeah exactly so you see it's already there very beautiful i already have um the thing here but you may wonder why are these things not showing why are the images because if i go back here i see this beautiful image but why is it not in my well let's see the console log you see that it's, it's all about security okay when you set up the, if i refresh this you see here it's telling us that because it violates content security policy the images if i go here the image when you copy the Darwin UI component into your into your project, well, you see that the source of the images are pointing to TarwinUI.com, but our domain is uh, not um, TarwinUI.com, and neither is it the Shopify CDN. And why do I mean by the Shopify CDN? Well, this is first of all, this is this is a good thing that is it's not working because the content security policy it means that the, 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 the proper content security policy has been defined on our uh, application. If we go here to uh, entry server, you see this uh, utility uh, function that is provided to us by the Shopify Hydrogen, by Shopify Hydrogen um, uh, MPM package. And it defines the, the content security policy. So here, if I, let's say, let's, let's have a look. Let's console log what is there first, close to see. You see here, let me zoom this a little bit for you to see clearer. Collapse this. You see that the the in order for anything to be loaded to be accessible, like like an image, for example, it needs to be loaded from the domain itself. So if this image was loaded, let's say from localhost slash image slash image products and so on, this would have been fine because here in our content security policy, we allow the domain itself to load resources. We also allow things from the Shopify CDN to load resources, okay? So just to show you that if, if we comment this out, which obviously in a production store you shouldn't do, you should, if you really want to load images from any other domain, you should alter the, the header to allow that domain specifically, okay? You don't, you don't want to completely remove this altogether, but just for demo purposes, if I comment this out, you see that everything now works right you see well, obviously the store is now susceptible to uh contain to do to, to, yeah to the content security policies um attacks which are like cross-site scripting and stuff like that which are which we are going to cover in depth in this uh, security good practices playlist so subscribe to the channel to, to, to be noticed when that comes out right so you see just just by doing that we have a highly polished uh, almost complete product page but what I want to do with you in this tutorial is to alter the store navigation I want to add a better a better one here like this because this is basically in, in every page so I want to just what I want to do is just copy this like that okay and I will go to the headers okay we have a header module because remember when we set up the root here we have the layout component is basically responsible for everything that that, that um, it's, it's basically like the header okay and the footer of our store if you go back if you go inside the header the layout here you can see it has the footer and the header and a few other things right but what we want to change in this case is the header so let's go in the header and I just gonna I'm just gonna replace everything inside of this, right? And just obviously you you wanna you want to make it a bit more granular, but just for the sake of time, I'm gonna replace everything here like that, and then change this from default to header because you wanna keep the same name. And I think it's still gonna give me an error because the layout here also has a header menu which I don't need because. This is basically for mobile okay so i comment that out and you can see now we have the we have our beautiful header so if i visit the page like a page like a products slash men shirt you see that header is still there and you can see that our store is already um looking really good right so that's basically how you style obviously 
if you want me to do a full video on how to pr create a production ready um, uh, Shopify store that is styled using Tailwind and including like uh, because this obviously these are no longer real links right so these are like these are not going to the these are not connected to the actual uh, data right these are just static data but if you want me to do a video with um, everything ready made uh, let me know in the comment section and I will record a video for you thank you so much for watching and I hope you found this useful and if you did please give it a thumbs up that's highly encouraging for us and uh, we look forward to seeing you in the next one cheers bye bye